cogs. We can transform now. That's right. Transformer 1 is clearly the freshest and most amazing take on the franchise in a long time. We all have friends who are fans of the original animated film that also had some effort from the legendary Orson Welles. But no one can deny that the loads of live action movies asked for a desperate change in the storytelling. With the new angle into the world of the Transformer, we got to witness some really interesting things, one of them clearly being a talking bumblebee. But the other major thing was that some justice was being done to the character of Alita One. Let's take a deep dive into the character of Alita One, the legendary warrior who has fought next to some of the greatest warriors of Cybertron. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Who is Ariel? How does she become Alita One? Alita One is one of the most dynamic and inspiring figures in the Transformers universe, with a story arc that showcases her strength, resilience, and deep sense of duty. Her journey began 9 million years ago on Cybertron, when the planet was peaceful and prospering. Back then, Alita was known as Ariel, a young dock worker living a quiet life with her boyfriend, Orion Pax, who would eventually become the legendary Optimus Prime. Together with their close friend Dion, they were fascinated by the invention of flight, dreaming of meeting the mysterious flying robots that had recently appeared. However, everything changes when Megatron enters their lives. Orion unknowingly brought Megatron, one of the new flying robots, into their energy storage facility. What started as an innocent introduction quickly turned into chaos as Megatron revealed his true intentions and attacked. Ariel, refusing to stand by and watch Megatron hurt Orion, leaped into action to defend him. Sadly, she was gunned down in the battle, a moment that seemed to mark the end of her story. But fate had other plans. Ariel and Orion were rescued by the Arielbots and brought to the wise and ancient Alpha Trion. Seeing their potential, Alpha Trion rebuilt them into two of Cybertron's greatest heroes. Orion was transformed into Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots, while Ariel was reimagined as Alita One, a fearless and powerful warrior. With her new identity, Alita One took on the mantle of leadership guiding her own team of female Autobots in the ongoing war against the Decepticon. For five million years, Alita One fought valiantly on Cybertron, commanding her team from the shadows while Optimus Prime and the Autobot sought energy for their dying planet across the stars. Alita's arc runs in parallel to Optimus Prime, and understanding her story gives a deeper insight into his. Like Prime, Alita is a leader forged by tragedy and sacrifice. With a deep sense of duty to protect her people, her incredible ability to stop time, though it drains nearly all her life force, is a testament to the lengths she's willing to go to defend Cybertron. Alita One's story in the Transformers cartoon highlights not just her physical strength, but her emotional depth. Despite being separated from Optimus for millions of years, their bond remains strong. Even when Megatron captures her and uses her as bait to lure Optimus into a trap, she risks everything to protect him, triggering her time-stopping power to save his life. Though the use of this ability nearly kills her, Optimus rushes her to Alpha Trion, who reveals that only Optimus can save her. With Optimus's help, Alita is revived, and together they continue the fight against the Decepticon. Throughout her arc, Alita One embodies resilience, leadership, and sacrifice. Her story runs alongside Optimus Prime's own journey, and knowing her arc allows us to understand the core of Optimus himself, a leader who, like Alita, balances love, loss, and the immense responsibility of protecting Cybertron. As you can see, the journey of Alita won from Ariel in Transformers, the movie, to a fan-favorite character is quite the tale, but you would be surprised to know that originally, Writer David Wise had no idea that Ariel would transform into the legendary Alita One. She was supposed to die in the episode War Dawn to add emotional weight, but thanks to some clever writer intervention, she got a second chance. This is somewhat like what happened with Jesse Pinkman in Breaking Bad, who was also meant to be killed off after the first season. His chemistry with Brian Cranston led to his character blossoming into one of the most beloved anti-heroes on television. Both Alita and Jesse's arcs highlight how the best stories can evolve in surprising ways shaped by audience love and writer instincts. Alita One has now become a symbol of strength, resilience, and leadership in the Transformers franchise, demonstrating how characters can grow and resonate with fans. It's a perfect example of how creative decisions can lead to unforgettable characters, making us cheer for their journeys every step of the way. Alita. Mm. Uh, Optimus. <laughs> what does she look like? Different versions of Alita One. Elita One's design evolution throughout the Transformers franchise 
reflects how her character has grown alongside technological advancements and storytelling shifts, and it does emphasize the various manners through which her character has had some interesting developments over the years. One, Generation 1, G1 Design Alita 1's original G1 look, debuting in the 1985 cartoon, laid the foundation for her iconic role in Transformers. Sporting a bold pink and white color palette, Alita stood out with a blocky, angular silhouette that was all about that 80s vibe. Her design featured a signature helmet with antenna, giving her a commanding presence among the Autobots. Yet, the design didn't give her a transformation aspect, which left her more static compared to the other bots who could switch to sleek vehicles. While it set her up as a powerful leader, G1 limited her in both storytelling and mechanical depth, making her more of a side character despite her vital role alongside Optimus Prime. Her G1 era definitely brought nostalgia, but fans agree it lacked the punch of modern design. Two, Ariel Design Before Alita 1, there was Ariel, a soft and innocent dock worker with a more human-like appearance. Ariel's design marked a significant shift from Alita's warrior persona, showcasing a youthful, relatable side of the character that resonated with her pre-war days. Unlike the G1 version, Ariel's design was all about organic curves and smoother lines, focusing on a softer aesthetic that reflected her civilian role on Cybertron. Her transformation into Alita 1 was symbolic of her journey into becoming a leader trading in her innocence for battle armor. While G1 emphasized her as a static leader, Ariel showed the human side of Alita, and this duality is what made her transformation into a resistance leader even more powerful. Ariel's design captured the emotional depth missing from G1, making her evolution from dock worker to Autobot leader much more impactful. 3. Shattered Glass Design Hold on to your gears, because the shattered glass version of Alita 1 flips the script hard. In this alternate universe, Alita is not the hero we know, but a villain commanding a ruthless squad of female assassins. Her design is darker and more aggressive, ditching the pinks and whites for sharp blacks and purples, stressing her menacing turn. With sharper angles and a more dangerous aesthetic, this version of Alita is all about villainy, contrasting the softer Ariel and even the bold G1 design. If Ariel showed her emotional side and G1 presented her as a static leader, Shattered Glass made her the ultimate antagonist completely flipping her moral compass. This version deepens her character by exploring her dark potential, forcing fans to rethink her legacy entirely. Cool. Four, War for Cybertron Design Jumping into modern time, the War for Cybertron design revamps Alita 1 into the high-tech leader we always wanted, sleeker, more dynamic, and with a cutting-edge color palette of reds, corals, and whites. This version blends both femininity and strength in a way that resonates with today's audience. Unlike the G1 design, which lacked transformation element, War for Cybertron gives Alita fully functioning battle gear, transforming her into a more agile, combat-ready Autobot. This updated armor and detailing not only give her a modern look, but also restore her warrior status, proving she's more than just a leader in the shadow. The careful balance of emotional depth with an upgraded combat-ready look makes War for Cybertron one of the best takes yet evolving her into a well-rounded, powerful character. <laughs> My friends call me Black Arachnia. 5. Animated Series Black Arachnia Things take a wild turn in the animated series, where Alita 1 is reimagined as Black Arachnia, ditching her heroic image entirely. This design transforms her into a predatory figure with a scorpion-like body and multiple eyes, a far cry from the sleek warrior seen in previous designs. Compared to War for Cybertron, where she embodied a balanced warrior leader, Black Arachnia taps into themes of deception and darkness, further deepening her identity crisis. This monstrous version leans into agility and stealth, contrasting heavily with the blocky, straightforward G1 design. It's bold and breaks away from tradition, adding a new dimension of complexity to Alita's character. The organic, villainous look blurs the lines between hero and villain, making this redesign a dynamic narrative twist. Six, Revenge of the Fallen Design Oof, this one's a miss. In Revenge of the Fallen, Alita 1 gets reduced to a mere motorcycle, losing all the character depth she'd built over the years. As an MV Augusta F4, she doesn't even resemble her G1 or Ariel counterpart, let alone her more complex modern incarnation. While sleek and fast, 
This version focuses entirely on aesthetics rather than personality or leadership. No transformation here, just a simple bike. It's a far cry from the nuanced warrior seen in War for Cybertron or even the villainous Black Arachnia. Fans were disappointed by this downgrade as it stripped away everything that made Alita an iconic leader. Thankfully, it's a hiccup in an otherwise evolving legacy. 7. Dreamwave and IDW Design Dreamwave and IDW breathed new life into Alita 1, giving her designs that mixed retro charm with modern storytelling. Dreamwave's version kept her strong but softened her with more humanoid features, while IDW leaned hard into her leadership quality, showing her tackling moral dilemmas and team dynamics like never before. Unlike the Revenge of the Fallen, these designs fleshed out her emotional and physical strengths, putting her back into the spotlight. The detailing in her armor and weapons from Dreamwave gave her a modernized warrior-like aesthetic, while ID armored her narrative to explore her compassion and sacrifice. This complex, multifaceted portrayal is everything fans wanted, balancing her past innocence and warrior spirit with depth and sophistication. Eight. Earthspark Design The Earthspark Design revamps Alita 1 once more, blending elements of her G1 past with modern sleek lines to appeal to a younger audience. Gone are the harsh angles here. Alita sports smoother curves and dynamic features that make her stand out in action. Compared to the angular and somewhat rigid designs of G1, Earthspark presents her as vibrant and approachable while still maintaining her strong leader persona. Bright reds and pinks replace her classic pastels, and she's now more expressive adding a layer of emotional connection for fans. This iteration captures both her warrior spirit and her role as a team player, making her accessible to new fans while honoring the legacy of her previous version. Uh, why is he gagged? He wouldn't stop talking. Even when he was unconscious? No. Transformers 1 Design Finally, the upcoming Transformers 1 film promises to do Alita 1 justice after all these years. Voiced by Scarlett Johansson, Alita is back in the spotlight and from what we've seen, her design blends sleek mechanical elements with her classic feminine strength. Compared to her disappointing role as a motorcycle in Revenge of the Fallen, this version is poised to give Alita the depth and presence she deserves. Transformers 1 embraces her history while updating her for the modern era, capturing the essence of her leadership arc in parallel to Optimus Prime. It's the Alita one we've been waiting for, finally giving her the screen time and character development that past films failed to deliver. Target coming your way! Alternate Modes of Alita 1 Generation 1 Cybertronian Vehicle In the Generation 1 cartoon episode, The Search for Alpha Trion, Alita 1 is showcased in her vehicular mode for the first time, transforming into a sleek futuristic vehicle resembling a hovercraft. This design reflects the aesthetic choices of the era, combining elegance and functionality. The vehicle is depicted with smooth lines and a streamlined body, emphasizing Alita 1's agility and advanced technology. This episode is significant not only for introducing Alita 1's vehicle, but also for further developing her character as a capable leader and warrior among the Autobots. In the search for Alpha Trion, she leads her team on a mission to locate the legendary Alpha Trion, showcasing her determination and bravery. Her transformation into a vehicle symbolizes her readiness for battle and her pivotal role in the Autobot resistance against the Decepticon. Customized MV Augusta F4 Sport Bike Alita 1's transformation into the customized MV Augusta F4 Sport Bike in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen is all about style and speed. This sleek high-performance motorcycle mode is a real head-turner, with sharp lines and agility built for intense chases. It's a striking departure from her classic Generation 1 Hovercraft 4, giving her a modern high-octane edge that definitely fits the high-speed action scene. But while the motorcycle mode is undeniably cool, the film kind of missed the mark in showcasing Alita 1's depth as a character. Instead of the fierce leader we know and love, this version leaned more on her looks and less on her personality. Fans were left wanting more from her iconic character, beyond just the flashy vehicle. Luckily, with Transformers 1 on the horizon, we will finally get that much-needed reboot. Please, Alita, reactivate. How Alita 1 was re-energized. One of the most gripping moments in Alita 1's storyline is when she gets captured by the Decepticon and becomes bait for Optimus Prime in the search for Alpha Trion. This scenario reveals the depth of her character and the power she wields, specifically her rare and dangerous time-stopping ability. In a last-ditch effort to save Optimus, she unleashes her power, freezing everything around her, but the cost is immense. 
Using this special ability drains all of her life energy, nearly resulting in her death. With Alita on the verge of dying, Optimus Prime rushes her to Alpha Trion, the ancient and wise Autobot, desperately hoping for a way to save her. The revelation comes that Optimus himself holds the key to restoring Alita's life. He must use his power filter, a part of his own internal system, to bring her back. It's a shocking and emotional twist, especially when Alpha Trion hints that only her true creator could have known how to re-energize her, a clue that ties Optimus and Alita's fates even closer together. In a dramatic and heroic gesture, Optimus Prime saves Alita, recharging her life force and bringing her back from the brink. Together they go on to rescue not only Alita's troops, but also the Earth-stationed Autobots from the Decepticons' clutches. This moment highlights the bond between Alita and Optimus and cements her role as a fearless leader. Her arc shows her willingness to sacrifice herself for the greater good, making her an essential figure in the Transformers universe. It's a powerful testament to her strength, both as a warrior and as Optimus Prime's equal in love and leadership. As fans of Optimus Prime, this particular moment clearly sets up how Alita won is more of a female counterpart to Optimus. If you disagree, then our next topic will help you clear some thoughts about it. How powerful is Alita 1? Even though the recent live-action Transformer movies might not have done a good job with this character, there's so much more that has never been touched upon. Armed with her wrist blade and Energon Blaster, Alita 1 isn't just skilled, she is fierce. Her combat prowess allows her to take on even the toughest Decepticons, and at one point, she single-handedly fought off three Combaticons, including their leader, Onslaught. Not only did she stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, but she occasionally proved herself to be slightly superior, showcasing just how strong she really was. Alita's abilities aren't limited to smaller foes either. In a remarkable display of bravery, she even went head-to-head -head with Megatron himself. Though the Decepticon Warlord eventually overpowered her, the fact that she could hold her own against him even if only for a short time, speaks volumes about her capabilities as a warrior. Does she have any love interest? Alita 1 and Optimus Prime's love story is one of the most touching arcs in the Transformers universe, rooted in loyalty, sacrifice, and a deep bond that has lasted for millions of years. Before they became the great leaders of the respective faction, Alita 1 and Optimus were once Ariel and Orion Pax, young, idealistic bots in love. Even after they were rebuilt into powerful warriors, their connection endured through the Cybertronian War and beyond. In one of the most gripping moments of their shared arc, Alita 1 sacrificed herself to save Optimus. Optimus then re-energized her, bringing his love back to life, and together they defeated their enemies. It's a story of unbreakable loyalty and sacrifice, showcasing how deeply intertwined their fates are. However, despite their epic love story, this emotional arc has not been revisited in depth for a long time. While Alita 1 has appeared in various series and films, her relationship with Optimus hasn't been explored with the same intensity. Since the Generation 1 era, fans have been waiting for the spark between them to reignite, pun intended. And there's a glimmer of hope with the Transformers 1 movie. The sequel to the film is set to dive deeper into their backstory, offering a chance to rekindle this iconic relationship, something long overdue. Maybe this time, the all-spark of their love will be fully realized. Could Alita 1 be a better leader than Optimus Prime? Alita 1 and Optimus Prime each embody unique leadership quality, but there's a captivating debate about their effectiveness especially when it comes to sacrifice. Alita 1 showcases a blend of tactical brilliance and emotional depth, often realizing the well-being of her team and loved one. Her sacrifices highlight her strength. She risks everything for those she cares about, demonstrating that love and loyalty can fuel exceptional leadership. On the flip side, Optimus Prime's portrayal as a hero often emphasizes his sacrifices to a fault, while his selflessness is admirable but sometimes borders on reckless. In various adaptations, especially in the movies, his willingness to sacrifice himself can lead to strategic missteps, portraying him as a hero but sometimes leaving his team vulnerable. This adds an intriguing complexity to his character. While he's a symbol of hope and bravery, his heroic narrative occasionally overshadows the potential need for caution and teamwork. In contrast, Alita's approach balances empathy with action, allowing her to rally her troops and inspire them without risking her own mission. This creates a fascinating dynamic. Alita represents a brand of leadership that values connection and strategy, while Prime embodies a more traditional heroism marked by valor and sacrifice. Ultimately, it's this contrast that enriches their narratives, making both leaders compelling in their own right. Marvelous verdict. I personally love how Transformer 1 brought Alita 1, voiced by the AI from Spike Jones as her. And apart from that factor, it is clear that the project will do a deeper dive into her arc. With two different Transformer franchises at work, 
we can expect the live action to learn more about the animated features and do some justice to Alita 1 in their format. But then it's obvious that the franchise cast Marvel legend Sevalor Johansson into the role, so they clearly have some epic plans for the arc of this amazing and promising character. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks everyone!